genetic endocannabinoid deficiency. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. So CBD, as I've mentioned before in my last video, is not a panacea. There are genetic reasons why people respond well to CBD and why others don't really respond well at all. And CBD is often marketed as a cure-all for anxiety, stress, insomnia, inflammation. And while it can be very helpful for treating these conditions, it is the most helpful and really shines when a dysfunctional endocannabinoid system is at the root cause of these negative symptoms. So one way to assess the health and function of the endocannabinoid system outside of an acquired THC dependence is genetic polymorphisms within the endocannabinoid system. So this is a relatively new area of research, but one of the main, if not the main endocannabinoids in the body is called anandamide. And the body breaks down anandamide into arachidonic acid via an enzyme called FAAH, which stands for fatty acid amide hydrolase. And some people have a genetic overexpression of FAAH leading to decreased levels of anandamide and increased levels of arachidonic acid. So before proceeding, it is important to identify that not all genes are being expressed in the body at any given time. And there are often many genes that will actually offset or counterbalance these polymorphisms. However, so the, what's important to identify is that if you do have these polymorphisms, it doesn't 100% mean that you have a, a, have a deficiency of anandamide. However, if you have symptoms and you have these particular SNPs, I think it's a good place to start and warrants at least a trial of treatment. So there are multiple SNPs implicated in the expression of FAH. However, in my research, I found that these four are the most significant in terms of literature and in terms of what I see showing up in practice. So these are as follows, and they're going to be in writing down below. Um, we've got RS2295633, RS324420, RS3766246, RS6703669. And I've put the risk allele and all of these in writing down the bottom so that you can check them out, as well as the studies uh, which are linked to these. So it is likely that people will be homozygous or heterozygous for at least one of these alleles. However, if you are homozygous, meaning that you have the double letter risk allele, uh, for more than one of these SNPs and you have the following symptoms, I would be recommending a trial of CBD oil. And the reason why CBD oil is useful is that CBD is an FAAH inhibitor. So you are increasing the levels of anandamide in the body by reducing its breakdown. So these are the symptoms that I see show up the most and they tend to show up all together or you know, people have the majority of these symptoms. So it's not usually just having one or two, it's usually having a lot of them together, if not all. And these symptoms are as follows. Chronic muscle tightness and joint pain, low grade anhedonic depression, generalized anxiety and social anxiety, elevated cortisol levels, PTSD, hot flashes, frequent urination, IBS, neuropathy, sleep disorder, tension headaches and migraines. So when I see this come up, as I said, it's common for clients to have all or most of these symptoms altogether. So CBD oil can be dosed as low as 10 milligrams per day, and even in up to 200 to 300 milligrams per day. Just like melatonin, some people do better with less, some people do better with more. A good starting dose for CBD, in my opinion, is about 25 milligrams, and I tend to see people do the best around 50 milligrams, although some people do better with more. CBD builds up in the system and can be taken once per day. It has a half-life of about one to two days, similar to something like Tadalafil, meaning that once you've been taking it for a week or more, the levels will build up in the body. I believe most people do best taking CBD at night. However, a small minority of people will find it energizing and do better taking it in the morning. So I hope you found that video useful and informative. Uh, and if you'd like to work with me further, you can check out my website, advancedfundamentalhealth.com uh, and get in touch to organize a consultation. So thank you for watching and I'll chat to you all soon. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features like loyalty badges, 
early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab and members only live stream chat. On desktop use the join button next to the subscribe, on mobile use the join link in the description. And now give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.